how is it with, with do you reply to reviews like do you whenever a person no no you have public uh, reply to a review no you don't leave i only reply to a uh, bad review so that, that was my second question how do you handle negative negative reviews so i had only one one time one one star uh Ooh, one star Jeez. one star yeah and actually they got the refund and but i was not here i was in uh, macedonia and uh, the airbnb was going and i had a guest and she paid the least money possible and she was with uh, her daughter i i never met her of course i was in skopje she came in kopangan and i had someone here for, to take care of the bungalows and clean them everything was perfectly clean and everything but uh, the woman was not good probably in the head you know because she she uh, said like writing to me uh, like uh, that somebody was under her bungalow that was uh, like screaming and uh, saying like uh, speaking to her and i when i asked what language did they speak and she said oh i don't know they were just screaming you know and she she was like telling me like uh, i'm afraid of for the life of my daughter you know like she was writing to me with capital letters you know on airbnb and i realized that where was, you she, know, from? This... was she from the states she was from canada but like uh, uh, taiwan from ah. i think taiwan and then went to live in canada so uh did you give her a refund? yeah so uh, what was uh, what happened was like uh, she was also after that she was saying like what should I do? I have a message like I read the message. What should I do for mosquito? Uh, for the mosquitoes, you know. And I was like, uh, you know, like the bungalow is really uh, actually very close with the mosquito nets all around, like in the bathroom, in the kitchen, and all around. So she just needs to close the door, or the front door uh basically basically around 5 to 7 p.m you know and i kind of gave this suggestion to her and she was like no i still get bitten you know and i was like get a spray uh and then she says okay what do i do about the gecko you know and this is like a jungle here you know you have geckos you have snakes even like sometimes someone can see a snake outside of course not inside the bungalows but um yeah, so the woman was like, and I, and what I said, okay, uh, please don't be like, uh, and then the, the next day, actually, she wrote me about these screamings and whatever. And I said, please don't be nervous because with the capital letters, I'm afraid, blah, blah. Uh, this is your holiday, you know, like, please enjoy your holiday. Everything's going to be okay, you know. And she writes to me like, don't you tell me not to be nervous you blah 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 and she says like you 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 blah and i said okay look let's let me give you a refund i'm very sorry that you feel this way the house was all good like i mean the bungalow i know the bungalow was clean i know like that what we have in the bungalow and you can see the reviews they're really all good so so basically like now i have all good reviews and only one i mean on that bungalow and one one star so but i have so many people you, you know that something so I, wrong yeah so all the people that booked after her uh told me like you know oh we knew that this woman is like you know yeah. it's something you know because you can see her review as well that she's saying there are lizards there are mosquitoes here don't come <laughs> here there is no uh it's aircon like here. to finland and saying there is snow in general <laughs> it's, yeah it's like a sweat box here like uh you know it's so hot where in the daytime when i walk uh it's so hot i also had this message as well in the daytime when i go out it's hot and uh, what can i do like what can i say you came to a tropical island and that's why you're here because it's hot and it was uh like uh i don't know it was winter time or something uh i mean in europe and anyway yeah uh, this was my worst experience but i never met this person you know it was just it's one your, message your, and is your horror story this is the worst experience that you had yeah Ah, okay, tell me, tell me the response of the review, of your review, and then I will tell you mine and we can wrap it up. <laughs> my, my, res my response was like, with all due respect, like uh, the house uh, is as it, uh, like you saw the pictures on, of the house, that there is no aircon, of course, and for the 
mosquitoes and lizards and whatever you are. Uh, I mean, of course, I wrote it in a good manner. Now I'm just explaining. So it was uh, like uh, everyone can see even a snake here. Like that's why you come in the tropical island because it's hot, you know. And in, she had it in her review, like it's a sweat box and blah, blah. So, yeah, I told her, like, please, uh, like, uh, um, my apologies that you didn't enjoy your stay, you know, like, uh, but this is a tropical island and we have mosquitoes, we have lizards, we have, like, snakes as well, you know, you can't really leave a bad review for snakes and lizards, you know, but at the end of the day, the guests knew, you know, like, everybody knew. You can, I now I don't even remember, but it's quite big, you can see it, like, after the conversation. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, you, you, you are in luck. You, we had much, much more. <laughs> we had only one bad review, um, and it was from a guy that after we checked his profile, he's, he was literally complaining about every place that he stayed. He was traveling uh, to the Balkans. <laughs> so the first one that we saw, that he was in Greece, and he said that he was complaining that the Greeks don't have this... Um, shower head holders here so i don't know about you greeks but we in the states we use them so you need to provide them i don't know how you shower yourself like this so he's actually telling them all that they don't know how to shower and it's a bad thing so okay we read these reviews but we still were expecting him and um he came for seven days and uh he got he was sick he got the flu he had 41 fever and he was like total mess he was super <laughs> sick and uh, I was chatting with him every day. How do you feel? How is everything? And he, everything was fine. And then he leaves and we have a four star. Okay, what was the problem? He started complaining about the mattress, the bed not being soft enough. And we, on that listing, we sold that one. We had like 200 reviews and none, none, none was a complaint of the mattress. And this guy, and he's saying, Imagine uh, I was sick for seven days and I had to stay in bed and the bed wasn't comfortable for me. I mean, guy, you are seven days in a bed. Uh, if you put but four star, yeah? Yeah, it was a four star. Because, and wow, in the end, he says the value, it was 20 euros he paid. He says, it's not for the value, it's not this. But if they lower the price, so he's nagging. And he's saying, but if they lower the price, I will consider coming back and staying with them. So the mattress is not fine. This is not fine. You were sick and you didn't, but you will come. But for a lower price, he's happy yeah. to sleep on that. That was the first thing. Okay. And then the, there was the second one. We had the blackmail, blackmailing. They had two uh, guests from Israel, a couple, and there, everything went fine. And actually they booked an hour before check-in. So it doesn't matter. We live nearby. So we, we greet them and uh, from, we, we greet them outside. We go to the apartment, they enter and they, fall in like in love everything is so beautiful we love it the the, the view the um, the bed is so comfortable the guy's even jumping on the bed with it, like oh uh... everything is so nice the bathroom we go home after half an hour we get a message that uh we sorry to bother you but we simply don't don't feel the positive vibe from the from in the apartment it's not like in the pictures we, it's, we are somehow filled with negative energy. Uh, we would really like to leave because we are also feeling a little bit stressed here. So, uh, I, I cannot connect. It was my brain was still on the positive side, so I cannot just shift towards the, so much negativity. And I instantly went there and, um, and I asked them and they are sitting, everything is a mess. So we want to leave, we want a refund. Uh, but don't worry, we're not going to leave you a bad review or you can actually give us in cash and we're going to give you a very, very nice, nice review. Okay, I knew that something is wrong <laughs> here because probably there are those kind of blackmailing guests that are just jumping from a place to a place. And I got yeah. so angry and um, I said, do the cancellation here in front of me. Uh, and they did. I gave them 50 euros because it was for two nights or something like that. I don't know. Does, don't get me wrong, uh, mm. because they had this int extra money that I need to give them because of that 14% that they pay extra for Airbnb. So I had to give them even more than I earn. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, I don't want anything from you. So they canceled. And the problem was that after they canceled, I was still able to give them a review. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like I had so many cancellations then they can write a review after the cancellation. Well, that's so but very bad. Like uh, I have this experience as well with people are not feeling comfortable in the bungalow. And what I do is what I tell them to, okay, look, you don't like it. It's okay. Uh, you already paid. The, I cannot give you a refund, but what ca I can do is you cancel the the booking, mm -hmm. then it will be open for other guests to book. If other guests book, you will get the refund, oh, you know, interesting. and then they will get the refund after two weeks because after two weeks, they cannot write a review, uh -huh. you know, uh, and I, yeah, so that's the thing. I, because I cannot, I mean, to the guests that are, I can sense something you know i tell them okay this 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 and they're happy you know with the guests that i'm i'm feeling good and like they're honest and like they're feeling hot sometimes you know they want to uh, cuz uh, some of the places they have no aircon and they're fan uh, places so um so yeah some of the the guests i let them like go cancel and then if it's high season i get instantly booked and they get their refund you know yeah, so yeah. i get the price that i am happy with anyway so they're happy me i'm happy and also sometimes they do leave uh, a review you know even though they they left they like the place but they're just too hot you know so you know i was very afraid that they're gonna leave us a review and though we return the money and i was expecting something like dramatic but they didn't yeah. so, but the worst the worst thing that we had and with this we're gonna wrap it up uh, we get a message from um couple they were from the u.s and they were older couple like 60 something and they said that we are uh working from the u.s military and uh that the guy is uh field uh, research for some i don't know the activity of military something related and the, the lady is actually flying drones for the military so they literally explained what what they work so i think i i say okay so they are very detailed about them because they wanted to stay 10 days. So I think they're nice people because they obviously uh, want to make a good impression for us to accept them for 10 days. And they say that, uh, just tell us if it's hot. I said, no, it's not hot because she, she said, I really want to be to sleep in a cold place. I said the AC, because our flat that we saw is like a rectangle. So mm -hmm. it starts the living room, the entrance is from the side, kitchen, bathroom, a small bathroom and uh, the bedroom. So it's in one line from the bedroom, you can straight walk to the, to the living room. And we had one AC placed in the bedroom, blowing towards the end of the, 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 the apartment or the living room. So I mean, everything is very chill, chilly, if you want it to be like that. Yeah, yeah. And, um, so she's, I'm describing this, I showed her video, etc. And she was, she was satisfied. And uh, they also wanted me to pick them up from the airport. I go and pick them up. And they were very, very dirty. I, I haven't ha seen that dirtier people than them, honestly. Mm. The smell was awful. Maybe I shouldn't say where are they from because not to generalize or whatever, but yeah. to say where, where were they from. And- uh, well, no, We all know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they check the apartment, everything is nice, everything is perfect, they love it. And um, I text them the, the next day, I say, is every, because we always text them after the, the, the check-in. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you feel, check everything? Thing, yeah. okay. They didn't respond in the first. I said, okay, maybe they don't see the phone or they don't use the phone so often. Yeah. I text them after the fourth day and they do respond, everything is perfectly fine. Uh, so I text them the ninth day before their checkout the next day. So I tell them, hi, everything, I hope everything is, uh, fine at um, blah, 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 etc., etc. And I get a message. So I send this around 6 p.m. And I get a message in the, at midnight. And they say, um, we left the apartments, the, the apartment three days ago because the water tank for the toilet didn't work. So, and we had uh, stomach, stomach flu. So we had to leave. Uh, and that was it. I said, okay, my apartment in the center of the city was open for uh, uh, the keys on the door, at the door. Oh. Uh. Jesus. And the, the, 
I didn't know what to expect. It's a mid it's midnight, so I put put back my clothes on and I go straight to run towards the apartment. I knew that something is off. So I go there and uh, the door is wide open. Light light is on. Uh, wow. the TV was on because we don't have that automatic sh uh, to, to switch off. And I thought that, I don't know, it's a big mess and it was. So I, I entered the house. I have some pictures. I, I'm trying to find them in the hard drive and put them on the video. So on the table, we have this little coffee Ikea table that costs five euros. Everybody has them. On that one, there was a like big glass like this, full with pills in every color, rainbow colors. Oh. Floor, all the floor was with pills. I haven't seen that many pills. Like everywhere there were pills. <laughs> Everything was, of course, everything was destroyed. I go to the bathroom, so I knew that they had a stomach problem and the water tank, they said that the water tank didn't, didn't work. So oh. I go there and, I, and I, I, I see what is in the water of the tap is working, the tap water. I go there, the toilet seat is off. I haven't seen dirtier toilet in my entire life like you go in a public bathroom that has never been clean it was like a, you have a melted chocolate and you just spray with these water guns and it was so disgusting and plus poop in the shower the whole um the whole washing machine was with some poop looking stains so i i, I thought I, don't, I didn't know what they were doing and I just go there and I try to press the button for the water tank and it, and it starts working. I said, why? <laughs> and I didn't get it. I said, okay, they were probably extremely drugged or on, on something. I don't, I don't, I don't see other, other, what, what can happen. Yeah, but if you can sense that, why you didn't go I like the first day to check they were them? Traveling. They were coming from Afghanistan or who knows where. Maybe they were traveling through a desert and flying from this Middle East country where they served. Uh, in the army, so they coming Wait. for a holiday. You got the money for the ten days or no? Yeah, the second day they, you they, you get paid, right? And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I opened the door. The door was closed, and I can hear the AC working. So I opened the door, and when I saw what is in the bedroom, I mean the whole we have uh, white sheets for the duvet and all these things because there is yeah, yeah. to to clean. Yeah. And the whole half of the floor was with something that looked like a poop. Like, like, oh, so disgusting. They were walking around, shitting around the And apartment. yet you had, you had this, um, you had the footsteps. The, the oh. bed with poo, poo stains or whatever stains were, I don't know, it was so disgusting. And then I, I circle around to see, and pills again, again, purple, uh, pink pills, I don't know what they were using. Did you try? <laughs> <laughs> and I go from the other side of the bed and I see this big of a container of uh, chocolate ice cream flipped and so the, that black poo, poo looking thing was actually melted chocolate ice cream uh -huh, right. so probably they were so off and the, 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 they were eating the ice cream and just <laughs> and, and they, it was eventually the apartment was so dirty and they didn't want to stay there anymore so they just yeah they just, they left. just left. Oh my God. And, um, I had this cleaning lady at that time because my wife um, wasn't here and uh, I had other apartments to clean. So she was helping me out because we have few listings. And uh, that was the first apartment that she had to do. <laughs> and I said, I've never, but I told her that say ice cream, don't get this. <laughs> Don't think, <laughs> don't think too much just, yeah, just yeah. To go with it. and she gathered i think i have a picture and just need to check the hard drive and if i have i will put it on the video like proper plastic bag that you hold a fish you know when you go and buy a goldfish that, that kind of a bag that they give yeah. you full with pills i wow. have so many pills i don't even know what they were using for i i, I should have still take them to be examined and um because they didn't cancel or anything, we didn't know how... And what was the pills, actually? The what? What was the pills? Did you check? No, I didn't. I just threw them away. I mean, throw them away. And um, so I sent them a message that this is, like, 
very bad, blah, 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 doesn't matter. Did you report them? I did report them. I did report them and I did send the, the pictures, but nothing, uh, they just said to your story to blah, 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 but this is not enough kind of, I don't know, something like that, very not um, customer friendly. But yeah. we're very afraid that we're gonna get a bad review from them. So, because usually how those things go, you make the mess, but you still try to be the good person. Uh, and uh, we didn't write a review for them. So we were planning, I had a, like this big review prepared with, for, for them to, to write, <laughs> to protect other, other guests. But I knew that if I wanna, if I publish that, they will, they will respond and they will not expect a good review from us. So um, we didn't and they didn't write a review. So I was happy that. Uh, I guess they didn't even, they forgot about the booking, you know, like yeah, they didn't make a review. So, you know. Probably. No, I, I also had an experience l like this, like, but not with the dirty, but there was one girl who was refusing to leave, you know? No, I like this bungalow. I want to stay more, but I have booking, you know, and I say yeah. like, please, you know, like, I know you love it, but, but she was like a bit, not, yeah. not so, you know? And uh, I was like, please, you need to leave, you know, the guests are coming tomorrow, you know? No, I really love, like, I, I don't want to go, you know? <laughs> and I was like, but look, you need to go. And the next day, I told her, please, tomorrow until 11, you need to go because I have other guests, you know? At the end, I, I became a bit more, like, serious, you know, like, with, uh, like, commanding. Yeah. And uh, I go there, no, she didn't even move anything, you know? She's staying. And I was like, look, you need to move right now, you know? Like, there is no other option and come with me i will find you a nice bungalow here next to the beach you know and there was one available but it was a bit like different than mine with no kitchen but i found her an op option in the high season you know oh, she accepted. and she did accept to... she had said no 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 i stay here put the guest there i was like no it's not that's not my bungalow that's from the neighbors and i'm doing you a favor I can also throw you out, like, you know, like I will throw you out at the end of the day because, uh, you know, I, I didn't say I will call the police or whatever because, uh, you know, and uh, she had a booking, you know, but I reported her because uh, she was, uh, I didn't write a review. Um, so, yeah, she was uh, like this. And then at the end, I had to take her things and go there and put them like uh, in front of the other bungalow. And I told her, come with me so I don't like take you and drag you now, you know, like I cannot do that. And please understand me because I will do it at the end. There is no other choice. And she was like, okay, okay. And like coming behind me and I was like afraid maybe she like do something to me, you know, I was. <laughs> and then like, uh, I take her, come with me here. This is the bungalow. Those are the people there. You talk with them, they will give you a good price. And I left her and I, yeah, you know, and then I reported her because like uh, something is not right, you know? Yeah. Something and, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, the new guest came. I was a bit very, late with my uh, yeah, It was a very nice chat, but I really, I really need to go this time because I think that this, and this Airbnb stories are, are endless and we're going to get back to, to them when the, the, the business is back on track. Yeah. Then you yeah. have some new, uh, new stories to tell. Well, talk to you in March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you decide to go to Thailand or Kopanyan, you can check out his place. I will have the listing link down below and you can read it on, uh, on the blog because I will have it as a, in the recommended uh, listings and um, cool Airbnb listing names. And that's it. See you next video. Hope we're going to find some other Airbnb host that wants to talk with us like this. See you next time. Hey, Dadets. Hey. I'm going to join the push on.